for being here today. What we're gonna look at today is Easy Bass from TuneTrack. Easy Bass from TuneTrack is the latest product that can basically uh, turn you into a one-man band, more or less. They're rounding out the rhythm section. They've already got easy keys, uh, easy mix, and then of course they've got the Easy Drummer 2 and Superior Drummer 3 products. So Easy Bass from TuneTrack just came out last week, uh, picked it up, got it on discount from Sweetwater. I'll put a link in the description and put a link up in the top here for you to click on. Hopefully Sweetwater still has that deal. It can save you 30 bucks US, 50 bucks Canadian by buying it through Sweetwater. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is show you how I can, I took a guitar track, an idea that I had, uh, like a verse kind of part for a guitar idea and I want to turn that into a bass track. So I, I just want Easy Bass to write a bass line for me and then I can edit it afterwards. So we're going to have a quick peek at how we can do that today. Uh, if this video helps you at all, using Easy Bass uh, particularly, it helps me if you hit the like button at the bottom. And if you want to see more videos related to home studio recording or mobile recording, just hit the subscribe button at the bottom and the notification bell and we'll let you know as soon as new content is available. So without further ado, let's jump in and have a look at Easy Bass from 2Track. So what I've got going on here is I'm using Studio One Pro version 4.6. Okay. So I've got the session open, uh, just a song idea that I had. Here's the main riff. I guess you could say I've got pretty much everything written there. Keys, guitars, drum, bass, everything. And then I wasn't really sure, excuse me, how to move into uh, like a verse kind of part for it. So here's where I want Easy Bass to kind of help me out. And this is kind of the neat thing about it. Uh, maybe you're not a bass player. Maybe you don't think in rhythm, think in guitar licks and hooks and things like that. So you can really get Easy Bass to write a bass line for you and throw it in really quick and really help you uh, churn out more music faster. Now, I know for me, I get ideas here and there, and probably a lot of you do too, where you just have a, like a really simple guitar lick that you want to record so that you don't forget it down the road. So what I'll do is I'll plug in my guitar, throw it in my DAW, and get the idea down so I can come back to it later and work on it. Okay? A lot of us do that. Now, what happens is, is I, want, uh, I want some new ideas for bass line. I don't necessarily want the bass line to exactly follow the same notes as my uh, rhythm guitar track. I want it to add something unique. That's just my own personal taste on a bass line. Uh, some genres, the bass line just follows the kick and snare. Others, it just follows note for note the guitar rhythm, and that's fine. For me, I like to have a little bit of a difference so that you know what the bass line and rhythm is, and you know what the guitar is. And I, I want them not to compete with each other for space either. So. Let's see what Easy Bass can do. So basically, I've, you can see I've already got something here. I kind of tinkered with it a little bit. Didn't take me long. It took me like a few minutes. And I'm just going to show you how I did that. So starting off in Personas, you just hit T to add a track. Okay, let's call it. Uh, yeah, we'll call it that. Why not? One track. It's an instrument track, not an audio. New instrument. And I'll click Easy Bass in my list. There we go. Okay. So let's have a look here. All I want Easy Bass to do is write a bass line. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to my media pool where my wave file is of that recorded guitar idea. Now, all I'm going to do is click on the audio tracker tab at the top and it says convert audio to MIDI. So mine is a guitar wave file. So I'll drop it right in there. It prepares it, and it says, what is it? The bass audio, guitar audio, or percussive audio? This one is guitar, and I want it to turn bass MIDI. 140 BPM, that's what my session is. Click OK. 
and we're ready to go. So the only other thing now is I want to add this MIDI to the Easy Bass program. And what you can do is you can kind of drag your finder here and you can see what it's picked up already. You can make adjustments to it before adding it to the Easy Bass program to make further edits to the play style and things like that. Okay. Um, this just gives you a preliminary kind of look at it and says, this is what we found. You want to double check it, have a look before we turn this into a MIDI track for you to continue with. So I'm not going to bother with that. I, I'll tinker with it later. And like I said, I already tinkered with it before. So all I'm going to do is click Add MIDI to Song Track. Now, just so you know, this does not add MIDI to the song within DAW. It doesn't do that yet. It only adds MIDI to the song track within Easy Bass. Okay. Now, if you're familiar with Easy Bass products, you know that you can track everything within the, the Easy program. That's what. So here it is. Okay, so here's the MIDI, here's the song, and it just gave it a verse title. Now the only thing is my I set my tr my song as a D minor key. Okay, so I'll change the key from C major to D minor just to keep it cohesive. Tempo is 140, that's correct. Signature is 4/4 timing, that is also correct. So here's what Easy Bass sounds like. That's the clean DI. Deep and bright. So that's what happened there. So it picked everything up. Now the only other thing is because I just generated a wave file off of just straight off of a, a wave file itself, not within the project. Easy Base just looked at it from the front to the end. Okay? It doesn't know where you have that wave file in your song per se, because for me that guitar track starts on bar fifty-five. The wave file doesn't say that, doesn't tell Easy Bass that. So Easy Bass doesn't know yet that my song, this part, starts on bar 55. So you'll have to just move it along the timeline, uh, along your grid after you've edited it and created it to your liking. So just a, just a mental note about that. And then the only other thing is uh, this follow host button. Definitely click follow host, otherwise, this uh, baseline is going to operate independently from your DAW. So you could eventually get two baselines overlapping each other and playing on top of each other, and it's going to sound really wacky if they're not lined up perfectly. So anyway, click follow host, and things should be good. For you. So uh, that is basically how I edited this track. So I'll just remove that one. I've already got this one. Now, how did I get that MIDI into my song? So all I did was click on the MIDI file here, and I literally dragged it, dropped it right into my track. Okay, that's how you get the MIDI right into your, your DAW. Easy, right? Now, the only other thing here is I made some uh, play style edits. So I wanted my bass line, like I said earlier, not to compete with the guitar track. So I reduced the amount of notes that it identified. I increased the velocity a little bit. I dampened it to give it a little more of a, I guess, fresh string sound. And then I increased the length of the notes. Why did I do that? I did that because I decreased the amount of notes. So I want some of the notes to ring out longer to fill the space. So I increased the length of the, of the notes as well. So that's how I edited the play style there. That's just clicking edit play style. Now, uh, distorted metal, okay, that's the one that I settled on here. Here's your bass controls under the effects tab, okay? Gain, low boost, high boost, 
sub base level, I actually wanted to increase that a bit. Make sure that you do that uh, cautiously because if you don't, uh, if you're not hearing back the sub base, then you don't actually know what you're doing until you take it out to your car that's got a 15 inch sub in the back, and all of a sudden it's blowing your eardrums out. So uh, make sure you're a little cautious with that one. So that's basically it. Um, this is what it sounds like. Okay, and here's what it sounds like with the guitar track. Mind you, it's just a guitar DI track. Here's the other thing if you noticed when i started playing my track when i clicked play here it started playing with the easy bass as well see that play button so you click stop on the play within the instrument close it out and now you just have the midi playing with your dog That's not bad, right? Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Um, it's a, a nice way to uh, get some new ideas with maybe some, some guitar ideas that you put on a shelf and didn't know what to do with yet. This way you can get a bass line written that maybe sparks some new creativity, some new ideas for you to move forward with your song. Uh, for me, it's definitely gonna help with that because it, it given me a little bit of ideas on how I can separate my rhythm section and my bass line in this particular song because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the verse section so now I've got a little bit of idea it's going to help me with that uh, speaking of help hopefully this video helped you if it did uh, you could do me a favor and just hit the like button at the bottom the uh, social media algorithms love knowing whether or not you liked my video and so if you could do that, that helps me out. Also, uh, if you could hit the subscribe notification bell at the bottom, that will notify you of any future videos we have uh, regarding home studio recording or mobile recording as well. 